Hello, my name is Avon, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a knowledge uh, implementation. So basically, you've got Salesforce, you've got knowledge, um, or sorry, the, the knowledge feature uh, enabled, you've bought a license, and now you actually need to set it up in your org. Now, when I set this up, there was a few problems with trying to get things to display uh, in the knowledge base, for example. Uh, in my community, I couldn't initially get question and answer to display, or I couldn't get it to come up in search. So basically, this video is going to show you how to troubleshoot some of those issues. So first of all, you're going to need to enable it. So if I go into, um, I've got a page here, I'm going to go to the service setup. So first of all, you need to go through the wizard. So once this has loaded, uh, yeah, there's a box up here on the top right. I'm going to go to view all uh, Just here uh, and then I'm going to go through this list and I'm going to find Knowledge it's there. I can type it or I can just scroll about halfway down and there's knowledge set up Once I've done that this is going to step me through it's going to ask me to select a user now I've already done this um, So it may cause an error. I don't there we go. There's me. I'm selecting myself then next, I am going to set up a uh, data category. So data ca categories allow you to create uh, a way of, uh, here we go, data category groups. I've reached my maximum, that's fine. Uh, but basically, they allow you to organize information into groups. So whether it's published for a particular product, you know, for me, I've got uh, a group for partners, a group for customers, and a group for internal only. Now, your category groups could be uh, a little bit more high level. So perhaps you might say uh, region, and then you have a, a set under that, which is um, customer partner, and then a set under that, which might be language set, and then product set, etc. So you want to really think about your, your data structure. Uh, then you'll, once you've uh, enabled that, you'll then have knowledge available to you in the app launcher here. So if I type knowledge, uh, it's now there as an app. Now I've added it to my uh, app manager, uh, which you can do. You go to settings, you search app manager. That's another uh, session I might show you in another video. Um, and you should then come to a screen like this. So you can now click new and create uh, some new knowledge. So you type a title, you know, for example, how to uh, create a knowledge article. So once you have created the knowledge article, click down here, it'll create the URL automatically. You can amend that uh, to make it make a little bit sense, particularly if that title is what something is got someone is going to search. So uh, the question is basically it can just be a replication of the title. But this is where you get to expand the question because when someone searches for a particular issue they want to solve, they might use different words. So you want to put it in the context and maybe say, you know, it's how to create a knowledge article and I might give it some context from a case directly or something like that. So then you're going to type your answer in and then down here, this is very important, you get these little sections here which is called visible in internal app. Uh, visible to customer, visible to partner. So the visible to customer means they need to be signed in to the knowledge base. And so you've then given this option down here, public knowledge base. That means they can be a guest user uh, and then they can see the content without having to sign in. So once you've done those, uh, I've also added this, which is not standard, and it is the validation status. So you can set rules that that needs to be in existence. So I'm just going to go to knowledge, I'm going to go to um, the uh, edit object. And then on the page layout, you can then change uh, or sorry, add that field to the uh, to the knowledge article page layout, which is not there by default. So in the page layouts, you want to go and choose um, from that uh, top bar where the fields are. So I'm going to go to page layouts. I'm going to select knowledge. Now you do have two page layouts, one automatically and one when you set up your, uh, your, um, your cat data category types. So it is, this is very important. Remember this word because we're going to address it in a second. 
So the on the page layout, I'm just going to go and grab the uh, verified status. This is when, so I've grabbed that validation status from up here. Um, you can see it was there and then I've dragged it down to here. Now this is a cool feature. If you click on that empty uh, box where that was, you'll notice that it highlighted down here so I can see what I'm missing. Now that I've done that, I am going to save uh, and one of the other issues, uh, one of the main issues I found uh, when trying to get this article to come up you know, in different areas like on the cases I want it to uh, have that suggested search come up. So I needed to go to support settings and in the quick find box, come over here, scroll down and you've got this option where it says enable suggested articles and then you can tick which ones pop up in the search automatically uh, inside your cases. The next thing you want to do is on the um, in the in the uh, article or sorry in the support communities. This is the partner one, but you could do it in the customer one as well. Is go to all the search filters and then add knowledge as an option. So by default, it doesn't automatically happen. So you go to the communities, you click on the search bar, uh, whether it's the big one in the middle, one up here somewhere somewhere else. Um, but then you, not by default, this is not here by default. So you need to come to uh, objects in auto complete results, add, and then I'm going to add knowledge. So it's going to add a item. I can then go through all of the objects and search the object, um, but I've already selected it. So I don't need to do that here. So then once I've done that, you just need to make sure that you publish it. Um, you also need to add it to the topics in builder. Um, so on the builder side, Let's go to the uh, topics, sorry, let's go to workspaces and then we're going to go to content uh, management. And then that's going to help us to put it as a uh, topic. While that's loading, let's come over here. We also need to make sure that the guest user profile has access to do everything. Uh, same with the partner community profile, same with uh, any other user profile that you want to control what they can see or do. So on those profiles, and let's go back to this other one here. Um, now that we're in the content, uh, this is where we can go to topics, and then we're going to go to article management, and uh, select, uh, with your, sorry, with your articles, automatic topic assignment. So you can select that it automatically grabs a topic. So that way it's likely to come up in search or likely to come up in the portal when uh, when a recommended topic is being um, is being populated auto populated in the recommended actions so then on this side um, yep so we've gone to the builder we've hit settings we've come on general we've come down here we click on relevant community profile uh, or your community profile that is going to bring you to this page here I've got the advanced settings turned on but you just come up to the search bar and you type in knowledge so, or no, and it will auto populate. Go through each of these and make sure they're all turned on. So on the knowledge one, uh, it's gonna give you an option to uh, just enable um, the article tab and knowledge tab. So that's in knowledge one. Um, do you want them to view archived or drafts? No worries. Let's go back here and go no, and wait for it, and then hit the top one. Now, we need to make sure that the tab view is on. So this default tab setting needs to be on. So you can edit that page. And you'll notice that this created a record page. And this is what tripped me up massively, is I'd gone through and I'd, I'd made read access. I've given read access to the answer. I've given read access to the question. Um, but the one thing that really stuffed me up is that FAQ, if you just go down and assign the record type here, um, automatically it still defaulted to the knowledge layer, which meant that I could not see the questions or the answers. So if I click on this lightning knowledge FAQ layer, remember that was our page layer from before, that's now allowed me to uh, put that into the, um, uh, sorry, allowed me to view those fields that I've got displayed. So let's just save that one. And now that I've saved that, um, that will allow those uh, question and answer fields to, to display. The other things you need to make sure, sure that is they've got that read permission here. 
Um, they've got the ability to um, read answers and they've got the ability to read uh, questions. So most of these are ticked by default and it's just that one and this question one that are uh, up for debate when you first jump in here. So again, you need to do that on all those other permission profiles. Then we go on to the answer and you check the field um, uh, field level security to make sure. So you go set field level security, make sure again that there it is read on all of those profiles that you want it to be displayed on. Um, then when you're on the uh, settings page, you go to the knowledge settings. You need to make sure in the permissions here that um, users are able to create and edit articles from the articles tab, or well, that's classic only, sorry. Um, if you want the validation status field to, to be a part of the process, that's where you turn it on. So that means that it's kind of gone through a checking process. Um, and then um, enabling the knowledge, most of these settings are on automatically. Now, permissions. If you select this use standard permissions for sharing, you're gonna to have to go over to the sharing settings and then manage knowledge from here. Uh, if not, and you decide to change your mind, you have to go back the other way, then you've got to find knowledge in here, and it won't be in here for me right now. You've got to come back and find it, which is at the end of the, the case, um, and then change back to public read write, because by default it will go public read write and external sharing is private. But that's based on uh, my di uh, external sharing model that I've got on by default. So then uh, you need to go in and check all your knowledge settings, um, look at your data categories, make sure you've got all the permissions set up so your data categories can actually be displayed. So here I've got my customer, partner, or internal knowledge base. Uh, you can do your category settings. Um, you can look at the, um, those, uh, again, those topics. Come into the topics, so uh, go home, search for topic, under feature settings topics, topic for objects, um, you go down to knowledge, you go enable topics, and then enable answer, question, title, whatever you want else to display, and then that will allow that to come up in the search results. So then finally, um, again, making sure your profiles for your customer community, including your custom ones, uh, any profile that you assign needs to have read access so that they can then uh, be able to see those um, those features in the community. So then at the end, you should be able to have your customer community where you've got your, your article, your question, your answer. You can hide these things uh, in page layouts, um, but sometimes you may want to display them. So uh, up to you, but um, that hopefully will help you troubleshoot some of the issues that uh, I had when setting it up. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.